today with Mark O'Connor and John Connors to talk about Carbo Gangsters. Thanks a million, guys. Thank you. First of all, can I say what an amazing response the film is getting internationally? Yeah. We've had great success at Manchester and Newport. over in Newport as well. Tell us a little bit about, uh, about that, about the, the response it's getting internationally. Well, we applied for the festival, so you tell them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Richie did for yeah. Newport. Uh, it was, we went, yeah, Manchester, we all went over and we won, what was it? John, best John, won, John won Best Actor. Yeah. Best film. And uh, then Best Overall Film was, was kind of confusing. Best Overall Film. Then a number the of special best. mentions as well. And we got then it's uh, got kind of runner-up for screenplay and a few other ones, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was amazing, you know. The, internationally then, just the reaction from the, you know, people in the crowd, the, you know, the people from Manchester, they loved it. That was amazing. I suppose that there's a lot more gritty cinema, mm. cinema made in the UK and they, they've got a history of that. That's what the... the what the Brits do the best, you know. Yeah, they sure do. Um, they, they make amazing, you know, yeah. gritty yeah. realism. But a very different audience, though, at Newport. Yeah, yeah, that was completely different, but there was people in the audience who felt that they really connected to it. There was a guy from Hawaii who came up to me after, and he was talking about Hawaii and how they speak, the language they speak there, it's like a slang called pigeon. Mm. And he was, but he was saying that the stories in this, the, the, the story he felt it was very like his own neighborhood and what he went through mm. growing up as a young fellow. Newport was an amazing you. reaction, wasn't yeah. it? It was kind of shocking yeah, as well. Yeah, it was great, you know. Um, so I don't know, it's weird. It, the, the outside of Ireland, it's had a, a great reaction. Yeah. Um, but it's just connecting. Kind of you know? universal appeal at the film as well. It's yeah. just, it's such a local story, but actually. It, yeah, it absolutely. And there's always an audience for this type of film. And I think going back to Manchester, I wasn't that shocked that we got that reaction to Manchester. I actually predicted it, said it to you. I said, when we get, even in England, we're going to get a strong reaction, believe me, because of the, yeah. the type of films like Meadows and Loach and Clark yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You guys have worked together quite a lot over the last few years. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about that process? <laughs> 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 about that process working together. Well, we met in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> At midnight, uh, working with John. Well, we've worked three films now together. Three out of your four, actually. We met. The first time we met was I was in film base upstairs and I looked out the window and John was standing there because was, he was coming for an audition for King of the Travellers and he was standing there and he was about 30 minutes early. And I it was, was actually an hour early. Was it? Yeah. And I was, I was thinking... You uh, see me, it was 30 minutes. I was thinking, what's he doing? You know, I was saying to the producer, Cormac, what's he doing standing there like that lad out there? He's just standing there and he looks really intense. And, he's stand and I was just thinking, something, something, you know, I was thinking, I bet you that guy's here to audition and I bet you I'm going to end up casting him in a little in a, in a role, you know. So anyway, he auditioned, he was very good and uh, he, he we, we didn't have a role, we'd cast it already. We... I worked a kind of a role in for a referee where he had a couple of lines and then anyway over the course of the process we realised that he should get the lead role so that's what happened and then from there we worked on Stalker together we co-wrote Stalker and we became best buddies and we go back thousands of years <laughs> yeah it was a deeper thing you know yeah, yeah. the O'Connors and the Connors he broke away from my family well, he Mark, I know, I know really about Irish history and that's bullshit. <laughs> I can tell you the real history no, of why is, that happened. Is, try to deny I can tell you the real history. Try to deny it, but <laughs> yeah, we, we'll, we'll deal with that later. But how does the screenwriting work with you? Do you both discuss the story and the characters and then yeah. do you write different scenes? This time it's very different than together. Stalker. Though. Stalker, we were just live, I lived with Mark basically, didn't I? For yeah. like six weeks, I was with every day and staying yeah, weekends yeah. and all that. I, this was different because I, I had already written a script, but I just came up against a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And we needed a writer to come on board and mark up with structure, but also like car bringing a lot of things out in the characters. Yeah. So, you know, that the, that he recognised was really interesting. Yeah. And pulling them out and that, you know. Yeah. So, and that was just, and he went on and just did his thing then. We just talked and met about it. Yeah. And next direction he wants to go down, we talked to met. Mm -hmm. For this, I suppose, for, for me, it was uh, actually understanding more about John's past, you know, and actually trying to bring that out more because mm -hmm. I felt some of the, scri the, the, the script, you know, had the great foundation, but I felt there wasn't actually enough of that, mm -hmm. you know, of, of the story, like, so, well, stuff about John's relationship with his father, you know, that was one of the aspects I felt that that yeah. was a powerful team within mm -hmm. Darndale and yeah. within the film as a whole. And I, when I was speaking to the DP, we kind of worked out that that's really what it was, the power, that's really what it was about underneath. Mm -hmm. But we weren't going to say it to John, but John knew underneath ourselves, he knew, but we, we weren't going to speak about it on set, but we'd make every scene about that. Yeah. Money telling you. Yeah, <laughs> no, I no, know. That's kind of what I we know that that. about, but you knew that anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the father-son relationships, yeah. you know, and between Dara and his, and his, his son, son yeah. John, and his, his father, and, uh, 
Yeah. It's it's a really impressive film. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's it like being directed by Mark after you've been working together on the <clears throat> on the screen? And are you kind of like, hold on, no, I want to stop. Can we talk about this? <laughs> or, you know? Well, it's kind of you know because we're we're friends. Mm. It's a good thing because we can kind of say anything to each other and get a bit pissed off with each other and get over it. Because if I was doing it with a new director and we got pissed off, you'd probably you know, it wouldn't work out very good. Mm. Whereas we can get over it because we've actually had fights and arguments and yeah, yeah. little blow-ups even <laughs> it was before the film and other things, you know. And yeah. Now we kind of get over it and we kind of have a way of getting around it now. And on set, we did, we, we, we had intense moments with each other because we were doing it in 16 days. We had 95 page, 96 yeah, page script, which is, which, is, which is crazy. It's actually stupid. We managed to do it and pull it off. Mm. So there was tense moments there, but... Uh, it was great because, like, even like uh, particularly certain scenes that were very important, uh, where we just had a chat. But the funny thing is, we never really chatted about the scene. Really, more about what it means. You yeah. know what I mean? You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that really, like, I remember one particular conversation we had in my back garden when we were going into a certain scene, and that helped me a lot. And I got him, and he just told me, "Go wherever you want to go, mm -hmm. and it's there, and you don't worry about nothing else. You just do your thing." Mm -hmm. And that was like, okay, okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's what I need. You know, so mm -hmm. yeah, great. I love working with them. Yeah, was um, you were shooting last summer, was it? No, 2015. September. Oh, it's 2015, of yeah. course. Yeah. And for preparation, we lived together for seven weeks in the house as well, and nearly killed each okay. other. So yeah, yeah. I'd say it was. It was uh, there was a lot of excitement around the uh, around the area. Yeah, Building. for the release. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, well, so. oh, the, the, the shooting. Oh, the shoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, there was people. crowds of people following us everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> every day, seven days a week. Just even, when we weren't, even when we weren't shooting on the, the weekends hunt. when you were back home and we were just walking through Darndale to go to the shop to get a fucking chicken villa roll <laughs> you have 50 children following you with horses and motorbikes yeah. no I live in the area and all that but I never get it that intense you know what I mean yeah. and we had stereos and like kids playing music and you know, uh, the planes that go five over. amp yeah, speakers yeah. with wheels on them know. going off after us brilliant brilliant, brilliant. Uh, fantastic crew in the film as well um, you mentioned the DP is a super Michael Lavelle. Yeah, he's amazing. Michael Lavelle. He's amazing. Yeah. He's super, isn't he? He's one yeah, of the best brilliant to work in, with in him, the country, you know. like, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Well, best of luck with the release. I think it's going to get an amazing response. Thanks very much. Thanks, Appreciate yeah. it.